Hey babies, welcome to another video, man. Um, got something exciting for you guys tonight. Well, it's exciting to me because I'm going to share some of my works with you. Some of the works that I do in a session. I do about maybe 25, sometimes 30 paintings in one session. But I do a variety of different things. But I'm just going to show you one of my sessions and then maybe kind of cut into some of the ones I just recently did. And I'm hoping you guys enjoy them. I'm going to show you the different styles and the different things that I do. And I'm going to take you into a little bit of a darker part of myself and show you some of my outsider work as well and some of my expressionist figurative paintings as well. Anyways, I hope you like it and here we go guys. Okay, first of all these big ones here. I used to do these only 12 by 12. And they're exploding abstracts and this one's called Intuition. Isn't that cool babies? Wild, right? Anyways, I like it. And uh, it's pretty wild. Here's a green one. And as you guys know, I use a lot of uh, color psychology in my work. And uh, this one here is called Vitality. And it's uh, done in green because green actually consciously collects money. And so if you do a lot of green paintings, they bring money to you. I want to do that. Oh, man, I just like doing those exploding ones. They're wild. Okay, and you guys probably seen this one I did on YouTube. This one right here is called Groovy Stripes. It's all done in black and white and, you know, an array of grays. And the stripes just came out so cool. I really dig the way this abstract came out. Nice modernist look. Nice and clean. Moving on along here. Okay, this one here is a little bit more of a controversial piece. <laughs> My uh, definitive buyers. <laughs> this one's called I'm So Into You. Obviously, it's self-explanatory. And uh, I'm very sexual, and I put a lot of sexuality in my works. And so, man, yeah, hope you like this one. And I know there's a couple people out there who really like this one. So, anyways, peace. <laughs> Good piece. I really like that one. I've done a few like that. I did a four-foot one. Uh, this is the one I also did on YouTube. This is called Turn Back Time. And you guys, I got that motion just right when I did it. It was like, boom, man, Mark hit it right out of the ballpark with that one. It was hard to get that perfect half circle with one sweep. So, and I didn't practice it. It was just like, boom, it was just there, guys. So, wow, I was happy with that one. Anyways, cool, cool piece, turn back time. These are all three foot by three foot, so they're big. And okay, moving along to some of these other abstracts that I did here. Let's pile them up over here. This, uh, this right here is one of my newest works I just did. It's called The New Chapter. And it's talking about this time period right now that we're in. And I am also known as the end of day artist. And I have been painting all this kind of stuff for a very, very long time. Since the early, uh, I don't know, 2000s. Anyways, this is called The New Chapter. And I think we're starting a new chapter now, guys. We're going to have to learn to do new things in a new way. Hope you guys enjoy this piece. I came up with that style not too long ago and I've been really selling the heck out of it. Okay, and as you guys know, I'm very well known for doing these type of works, these soap resist pieces. I did this one on a kind of a psychedelic black and a color changing color, like a color changing paint. This one's called Brainstorm. And it was a brainstorm. Boo! It was cool. Very heavy canvas too. Ouch. Okay, and like I said, here's that style again. And this one here is called Denevo. De novo is a change, also a change in our society, and it's kind of a, kind of a uh, I don't know, angry piece, but yet colorful at the same time. A lot of action, a lot of emotions. I, I was a little emotional when I painted it, and I think you can see that in the way I created these claw marks and these uh, different type of effects of juxtaposing tones. Okay, anyways, that's a good piece. And this is the smallest one. This is probably one of the first ones I did of that style when I was just experimenting. It's called The Current Affair. Exactly what's happening right now in our time period again. And it just kind of, uh, I got in a kind of a depression when I started painting some of these and I just needed to vent and get it out. And I started coming up with things like this to express it. And these are, these are really good solos here. I like these. It's a good style too. I'll show this sometime. And of course, you guys see me do this one. This is called Pink Paradise. And I use a lot of color psychology, and pink is a really good color for healing. 
It's passionate, it's love, it means everything, but yet I mixed it with some uh, erratic, uh, kind of a violent block strokes to give it kind of a confusion of what I'm feeling. And I'm very passionate about what I do, but I'm very uh, uh, irritated too, so I kind of put it all into one piece. For all you rock and rollers out there, you like Pink Paradise, I know you do. Peace out, Davis. It's a good piece. It's got glitter in it too. If you guys notice, I used a glitter spray on this, and it has that shimmer glitter that you guys all like. <laughs> Bet you like this one, right, Mitch? <laughs> it's a cool piece. The color's hot. Just love it. Okay, and here's another piece. Uh, like I said, I have a lot of conflicting things in my mind. This one's called Action versus Balance. And as you can see, the action is the red, and the green is balance in it. And so, I, again, I use color psychology against the blockish purple tones. And I use what's called a bump and hit technique on this with a paint roller. And that's what gives it those skips all over the place. And then I went ahead and I uh, webbed it with silver. Silver webbing. It's a really great piece. Action versus balance. And I love these new canvases I bought. They're super heavy duty and good quality. Okay, another one I did. Round and round, guys. Finally dried. Finally got to varnish it. Really good piece. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Everybody had different opinions about what it meant to them. But... I just wanted to be kind of a mind bender, kind of a psychedelic kind of thing. It's cool. It's cool. And I loved it. It's purple. Who doesn't like purple? <laughs> Anyways, that piece came out really cool and wild. Okay. And this piece is a very... I'm going to go ahead and skip to this piece. Because this piece right here is very interesting. This piece, I believe, it's called Full Claws Out. And I created this piece thinking that maybe if Jackson Pollock would have lived long enough, he would have uh, probably came around to something like this. Now what I did is I took a drip painting and I, and I dripped it all over and then I scratched into it and turned it into something more like a drip scratch. And I think he would have probably went this direction with his work if he would have lived long enough. And so uh, that's what I came up with. And this is my own style of drip and scratch type of method. And I'm going to start painting this style for a while because people really seem to gravitate towards this look. Anyways, I like this. Real shiny though. I think I probably died in on the varnish. I just got kind of crazy. Uh, let's see here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I want to show you a nice modernist piece I created the other day. And it's a drip style. Speaking of Jackson Pollock, it's a drip style and it's also done with that bump and hit method with a roar. And this is done in bronze, blacks, gold, and tans. Real nice mid-century piece. It's called New Elements. So yeah, wow babies, isn't it? Hopefully you can get that in there. It's a big, huge piece. It's almost four feet long. It's heavy, heavy duty. Whoa, okay. Set that there. Moving right along. Another cool abstract piece that I just created the other day, and this one's really wild. This one's called Six to Five. Six to Five, and it's a big, heavy piece. And six to five, six rows, five lines, six to five, that's all it means. That's a nice modernist piece, simple, you know, nothing to it except for these curves are hard to do. And I'm going to show you guys how to do these curves in my next video, or one of the videos coming up soon. Stay tuned to it because I'm going to show you guys how to do this curve. And yeah, that's a new, a new method I came up with and you're going to love it. Anyways, cool, cool. Moving right along. <coughs> Okay, you know what? I'm going to get the risky pieces out of the way. <laughs> I don't want to shock you and have you nightmares before you go to sleep. So let's get them out of the way first. And this one here is kind of a funny one. I loved it. And this one's called Mantis Girl. It's one of my risky pieces, guys. And I'm not, I, had, I did about 30 risky pieces this month alone. And I can't show any of them. They're just too explicit. And <laughs> I thought this one was fun. And it wasn't really too much over the edge. So I just wanted to share it with you. I thought it was way cool. And as you guys know, a prey mantis uh, female eats her male. And she eats babies too. But she's a killer, and I love her. She's a great piece. I have this on my website, but I have to paint her. And it's kind of an outsider piece as well. And graffiti. Outsider graffiti mixture. Okay, guys, this one here is one of my shocking pieces. Controversial. I already have it sold. This one here is called... Lesbian. It's in German. It's forever lesbians. And as you can tell, it's very dark in nature. And it's to uh, 
demon lesbians. And I think it was beautifully done. I took a long time to produce this piece and I had a lot of thought process, process when I was painting it. And I just thought it was a beautiful figurative piece to explain things. And I loved it. And I hope you guys love it. Anyways, I'm not going to share too much of that one. I want to get kicked off of YouTube here. <laughs> okay, you guys, uh, this is my new raking method. I'm the only one in the world that does these. I came up with this technique myself. And this particular piece is called the calling. <laughs> it's called the calling. And I have a lot of these that I just done. And I'm trying to do a four foot by five foot piece of this. And it's very difficult to do in that large because the paint dries very quickly. But I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to push it and I'm going to make it happen because that's what I do. I push things, I make things happen. Okay, so I'm going to show you a few of those. Okay. Another one. It's called a dance in the dark. And you can see in the composition, I made a wiggle and dance in the middle. And a very good piece. Hope you enjoy that piece. Dance in the dark. And a lot of these 16 by 20, 16 by 24, 18 by 20, big sizes. Okay, another outsider piece that I just did. The Baneful one. This is my money makers, guys. I make most of my money with these type of pieces and my outsider graffiti pieces. And so I've been compared to Francis Bacon and a lot of different people. And uh, I don't know, I'm just me. That's who I am, I'm just me. Anyways, they're scary. They're my inner emotions and I get them out. And you know, things in society and things that are happening in my world drive me crazy. So I paint this stuff to get it out and vent it, man. Hope you like it. A lot of dark stuff in my head, guys. <laughs> but I'm good at doing this, so I did it. Judgment Day, oh yes. People, it's gonna happen. Judgment Day is about to happen sooner than we think. So, you know, time to repent. Ah, I'm not gonna preach at you here. I'm just saying this painting's called Judgment Day, and I painted the emotion of it. So, hope you like it. Peace out, Judgment Day. And I did about 50 of those in the last two months. Okay, let's see. Just a, uh, this one here is just a simple black and white. Again, it's done with a bump and, bump and hit roller method. I just use a paint roller. Well, a mini paint roller, not a big one, a mini paint roller. And this one's called sophistication because of the grays. Grays represent sophistication in color and tone. Of course, gray's not really a color, but it's a tone of black and white and gray. And sophistication is what you get when you look up grays and all that. That's what it means, color psychology. So that's probably a good nice uh, painting to put in your business office. Great piece. And uh, some more of these here that I did. I love these, these came out really good. This is called Deep Dark Secret. Yes. And I have lots of them. Oh, I have lots of Deep Dark Secrets. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you like them. It's got a lot of movement in it. And so, moving on, moving on. Okay, this one's called Inner Creature. Because when I painted this one, I could have swore I seen like a sea serpent. Like, it was like, what the heck? It looked like it had two eyes and it was just coming down. Whatever. You can have your own imagination. Think what you want. But that's what I saw when I did it. So these are kind of like a modern day Rashad type ink painting. They're, they're kind of just wild, you know. But, uh, they're very difficult to paint. And so, and I call them raking method out of the German method because of this rake marks. That I, this clawing and this raking that I created. So I created their own, my own style. And uh, hopefully it sticks good and people start buying this. Oh, man. Okay, so now I want to show you this particular piece. And I got a couple of these. They're all kind of about the same. I'm going to show them to you anyway. This one here is called Evoking. And as you can see, I'm using a lot of reds. And also that bump and hit again with the roller. It's one of my favorite techniques now. And then I did a power drip of red. And so it's got a real nice powerful feel to it. And again, another one just like that, except for uh, it's more vertical. And that's called intoxicating. And that's, again, the red drip. And red means intoxicating and love and venture and all that stuff. So, but again, intoxicating. Nice piece. And another one of my raking methods, a little bit smaller. That one's called deep dive. That's a nice thinking painting. And as you can see, it's diving in with its composition. Deep dive. It's a great piece. And uh, 
Let's see. Oh, and these are my favorite pieces here. I did this with a uh, house paint. And this one's called Speak of the Devil. And I did this, guys, with a, with a, it was like a gigantic wallpaper broom brush. It was just like one sweep. And it just came out so cool. And so I started doing a bunch of them with green and blue. And I like the red ones the best. And anyway, Speak of the Devil. <laughs> oh. And this was kind of similar to that one. And this one's called A Spin with the Devil. And I just like red and black together. So contrasting and so, ah, bites you in the ass. I love it. Anyways, then I started getting a kind of, you know, this is some of my outsider stuff that I do. And this is the stuff that's more, you know, a little bit more disturbing. But this is called Caged Up. And we all feel that, but I express it. And I do this sometimes on a two foot by three foot canvas and sometimes bigger. But this is the one I created when I first created this. I used to do smaller pieces and then I graduate to bigger pieces. And also when I create, I, something always, uh, reverse after I create something. Just like I create something and then something gets created from that and it just keeps extending into that. And so that's what I want you guys to do. If you're creating something, let your mind start creating other things off what you just did. Let it reverse something new. Anyways, another one, my favorite piece. Got a lot of looks on this one. It's a very good piece called Love You to Death. And I do, guys. I love you to death. <laughs> I like this piece. It has a lot of, uh, I'm, I'm not even going to go into it, but it has a lot of inner uh, hidden symbolization. Okay, and last, I got some of these smaller pieces. And I'm going to show you with it real quick. And that's another drip piece. Small. Let's get this way. Emotionally charged because of the reds and the blacks again. I like to use the grays too. So emotionally charged. Great piece. Like I said, those sell really well. People like those just hanging up in their little offices. Heightened sensations. Again, the heightened and the sensation of the tones and the movements are erratic. And I try to keep things lively. Energy sells. Study your color psychology, people. That sells too. Black and white. That one's just called timeless. Because it's timeless. There is no focal point of anything. I mean, you could say that's the focal point, but really it's not. It's just all one composition. Timeless. And another small raking method. Nectophilia. It's a nice piece. And that's something that loves the darkness. And I do like the darkness. I like dark stuff. I only paint at night, guys. So a little fact. I've only painted paintings at night. I do, I'm a nocturnal type of artist. I don't paint during the day. I create some stuff during the day, sculpting. I varnish during the day sometimes. But most of my work and most of my stuff is created only at night. I've only painted at night. I might finish up some works during the day, but I guarantee most of my creative stuff is at night. A little tip on there. Okay, this one here made me kind of sad when I painted it. This one in the um, coronavirus just came out and they were talking about this COVID-19 thing and I said it's the end of hugs and so I created this little outsider piece and it very much upset me that all this stuff was happening in the world and I created it and I just made it kind of like a skull and crossbones kind of thing and just made him as sad as he could possibly be and angry and just emotional and that's how I feel right now actually but anyways peace out it's a good piece outsider piece and this one too Stricken mother, because there's a lot of stricken mothers out there, and they're with their child, they're by themselves, and they're in the middle of this uh, coronavirus crap, and they don't know what to do. They're having a hard time getting money and food and providing for their, ch their child, and it's so, it's a hard world we live in, guys. But I do a lot of emotional stuff like this. I don't want to get emotional on film, but it's a cool piece. Anyways, uh, I hope you liked my little show and tell here, my art display here, and Please go uh, support my art at FultzFineArt.com and Burke3464. Peace out, guys. Peace and love. Thanks.